Bill, how you doing? Hey, how are you? I'm fantastic, mate. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Oh, no problem. I gotta ask, what's what's more fun, like playing a good guy or a bad guy? Because you've played both, obviously. I always like playing ones that you know might think they're good but they're bad, you know, <laughs> or you know, ones that don't know. <laughs> you know, a bad guy might be good, and you know. So, so like weird in between you know okay so do you think cyrus kind of straddles that line no cyrus he's, an asshole. No, he's an asshole man. he's terrible <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah because i i was wondering how he like stacked up against the bezoses and the musks and the bransons of the world because he is sort of basically just yeah but he's like trying to manipulate this you know wednesday this little girl which was pretty disgusting so i mean he's a pretty terrible person Right. It's nice to know that you've wandered into the role with your judgment hat firmly on. <laughs> firmly in place. You're sitting in a studio. You don't get to kind of give face. You don't get to run around and physically inhabit a character. Yeah, yeah. Oh, when you're doing animated stuff now. Yeah, yeah. No, you, yeah, it's... Well, this one was also done during the pandemic, so I was underneath a blanket in my uh, bedroom. That's <laughs> a little spooky, right? And holding like, the thing up. I'm trying to read the lines off my phone. Um, I was gonna try and I was gonna try and paint a picture of the voice actor as a kind of glamorous profession. But no, <laughs> during the pandemic, it was just underneath a, a comforter and just screaming into it, uh, uh, you know, doing all these big weird noises and playing this big kind of character just alone in your house. But it was like the most human interaction I had during the pandemic, pretty much. <laughs> so it was kind of great. <laughs> really that's quite that's quite yeah, depressing yeah, yeah yeah that's interesting so if, if i showed you like a bunch of photos i'm not going to by the way but if i showed you like a bunch of photos of different different people could you then just based on appearance fairly safely say that you could do a voice which would suit that well, person? i could try to do i don't know if it would be good <laughs> <laughs> but i think anybody could do that you know <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, but that's basically the job, you know, you come in and they say, I remember I did, uh, what was it, um, Angry Birds, and it was that pig, and they're like, it's that, I was like, huh, you know, what, what is that going to sound like, and that was one where it was like trying a bunch of different things, and then kind of lasering, and I'm like, oh, that one, you know, right. uh, but this one was more like mad scientist, and I saw the, the turtleneck and the thing, I was like, oh, okay, and just and that and kind of what the voice is was kind of the first thing i tried yeah great but you're doing this thing for like how many hours a day are you sitting under your blanket like four, four hours like four hours or so but it's not every day it's kind of you know you do a session and then they go animate and everything and then you get a call and you do another session and um but the first couple of sessions are pretty long and then they tend to go oh we've re rewritten some stuff so then you go back and you do more and you go you know so yeah uh, right. but if you're doing a voice for you know four hours a day for several days do you ever kind of have trouble transitioning back to your, your regular voice no no it's yeah i'm not like a <laughs> no method <laughs> method no 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 i'm not method at all i yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm very, yeah, in that, in that, in that, in those terms, I'm very, I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> yeah, great. The whole film sort of resolves, revolves around this, uh, this thing that Wednesday can do, which is take an attribute from another person, whack it in a bottle, and give it to someone else so they can kind of, you know, imbibe that quality. Uh, if you could drink and absorb any one quality of any one person. Uh, and then have it for a couple of days to just kind of wear around uh, who and what would it be? I mean, anybody who has the ability to um, spell, that would be good. I can't spell very well. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So like a spelling teacher, maybe or like a kid who won a spelling bee, maybe. Uh, I'm terrible uh, at spelling. And I run and I'm always in the writer's room at Barry and I'm up on the big, whiteboard with uh, with writers in the room and i'm spelling and they go bill you spelled that wrong and that wrong. it was pretty embarrassing so yeah i'm a terrible speller and i have bad grammar too so right. 
Right. So just like a, a fourth grader, maybe. Who, Hang on, a, a fourth grade teacher or a fourth grader? A fourth grader would probably be able to have better spelling than me. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever, I would just say whoever's won a spelling bee, just that for just when I need to run the writer's room, I think would be good. Right. You're not worried that would suddenly just change, aggressively change the tone of the next season of Barry? There's like one episode where you're just hyper articulate? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just the script descriptions in the, the scripts would just be like, okay. All right, Brainiac. But yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I think Barry's always going to be kind of like, you know, he's a, like me, unable to speak uh, clearly. Uh, but uh, yeah, all the other characters would then suddenly sound like you know, George Plumpton or something. Christ. Well, uh, I think we're out of time, Bill, unfortunately. Um, but just an absolute pleasure talking to you at 5.30 oh, yeah, in the morning. <laughs> yeah, you too, man. Thanks for doing this. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Have a good one. All right. See you.